Let's take a look at throat options for the 2-inch JBL compression driver, the 375, the 2440, 2441, and 2482s. And this is the throat and the driver. Fits into the housing. See on the back side here, that's our Alnico magnet. And the issue is, uh, the magnet was not glued in place. It's held in by magnetic force and that I don't think JBL ever intended these things to be around as long as they did, but after 50, 60 years of uh, abuse, these things get dropped, shifted around or demagnetized, and what happens is that magnet starts shifting in here and will crack the throat, like this used one here. Um, the throat presses into the front, backside, fits into the phase plug, snug, not, not as tight as the front, it needs to slip off easily. Uh, face plug fits over, magnet on the top there, and then you've got your plate which fits on top of that and creates your voice call gap. I'm not gonna put this on because the magnetic force of the Alamico magnets is, I'm sure you've read, incredible, and, and I pinch my fingers many times doing this. This one's not ready to go back together again, so um, we'll just leave it apart for now. It's cracked, JBL. This is original replacement, it's identical to the one that came out of it. Um, these are no longer available. Speaker Exchange used to have them, but they are all gone now and JBL has no more. This is a, um, a, a version that uh, Speaker Exchange has made with a 3D printer made out of plastic. And this is a bronze version uh, right here. So let's take a look at a couple of things here. Inside of the original one is smooth plastic. Inside of the bronze is smooth bronze. Uh, I have no idea if the bronze alters the sound at all. Uh, the LE85s had bronze throats, so I'm, I'm assuming it's an acceptable um, solution or replacement. The uh, speaker exchange version has a, has a texture to it, a ridge texture to it. I don't know if that alters the sound at all. Uh, one thing I do want to point out the original units uh, measure 2.082 inches at the housing end. The bronze ones are slightly less, uh, 2.075. Uh, it's still a snug fit. I believe they did this uh, because the plastic compresses a little bit more than the bronze for getting a snug fit in the housing. But the uh, speaker exchange ones are considerably smaller. I'm going to take a look here and see how much I wind it in. We're at um, 2.03. Uh, and that's actually a loose fit. We're going to flip the other side over. Here. I'm going to measure... The original ones on the back side, these are tapered, so they're a little smaller. This is point, a hair over point, uh, 1.8 inches, just a tad bit, but one one thousandth over. Come on, micrometer. Yeah, and this is just a just a tad under 1.8 inches. Pretty darn close. This one, and again, you can see the difference, considerably smaller. Uh, 1.65. All right, so, you know, I talked to Speaker Exchange about this, and they say these are acceptable. Um, they're, they're, uh, you can kind of see there, I don't know if that really affects the sound, but you can see there's a lot of, that really doesn't fit at all on there. There's a lot of, lot of play there. Bronze ones, that's a tight fit. It's not moving around at all. That's the way it's supposed to be. Original JBL, tight fit, the way it's supposed to be. I think how they intend to use a speaker exchange version, and again, 
I don't have a housing that has a throat out, but um, I'm gonna hold it to the edge there so you can see right there's a bit of a gap right over here. So I guess the idea is you probably center this in there and maybe you put some epoxy or something uh, you know to glue it in on the back side of the housing. You'll, you'll need to do that with a magnet out or I guess you could put some epoxy in and try and hold it in place. Of course you've got to be careful because when, when the, the throat is in the housing it does have a little bit of movement which you need to line up uh, with this in the plate. This pretty exact fit there so you need to have a little uh, movement in there so you may just want to fit this in get some epoxy try and hold it in place as best you can flip it over uh, and then you're gonna put your plate and your face plug on top of it uh, and well again maybe it doesn't need to be that accurate because it doesn't doesn't really fit in the center um, anyway there you go those are the three options that are uh, available these days Obviously, this one, the original JBLs are long gone. So you've got the bronze version, and you've got the um, um, speaker exchange, the um, uh, 3D printed version.